Well, here we are with the uh, Martin Side S1 31 inch jumbo. Crossing over the planks here to the beautiful grass field. All right, we got about 12 inches of grass. It's just beautiful. It's around 9.15 in the morning. There's virtually no wind. It's perfect for trim flying. Now, I've made a new set of wings for this plane. Um, the previous pair had under camber, like the real plane, but I felt there was some drag that it created that made it really difficult to get this thing to fly well. So I built a new pair using sliced rib construction and flat bottom wings and hopefully less drag. And let's just hope this guy, you know, becomes more stable and more consistent. That's the key. I didn't feel like I had a consistent model before, so we'll see what happens. I have three loops of 3 16 times 41 inches. Each loop's 41 inches. Uh, this flight here is 400 turns. Um, max winds for this motor is somewhere around 1600, 1500. But hopefully we'll be able to get up pretty far on this field. It's forgiving. Should this guy barrel in or something? At least it's much better than on the side farm. So, all right, let's uh, let's see what this guy can do. Here we go. Oh, come on, keep turning. All right. There's a ditch down there I was concerned. Well, that's pretty stable. Nothing bad that I saw there, so... Um, I, I didn't add any weight or change anything from the previous, so he put the new wings on and just gave it a toss earlier, and it looked nice and stable, so it's a good start, but we'll see what kind of concerns this uh, new wing gives me as I go up the ladder here, so I think I'm gonna Go up to like 15, no, to uh, 540 turns or so. Let's see Okay, I've gone up to uh, 540 on this guy uh, I gave it a little bit extra up elevator, like maybe a 32nd of an inch on both sides. And the rudder was cheating to the left, so I made it straight. We'll see if that starts to induce any kind of a turn. I want it to go to the right is what I'm looking for. All right, it's just beautiful here today. All right, not bad, happy with that. I think I might uh, just maybe tweak the elevators up just a tad more. It's either gonna be that or, uh, I don't wanna mess with the thrust yet. I mean, I could add a little bit of tail weight or take away a little bit of the uh, nose weight, but um, we'll see what it does on the next turn. I'm not quite ready to start messing too much with the CG until I get up into higher torque. If the next flight does the same and stays hard into the right, then, then I'll make some decisions. Um, as I recall with this model, the rudder is really sensitive 
so it's always a consideration just to tweak it back a little bit to the left and that should open up that turn a bit just a tad but it's it's really really thin parameters here so all right so I think I'm gonna try oh we'll try 640 I went up to 680 on this one and no other changes. See what happens. Okay, so I have some choices to uh, get this bird to climb and also to prevent it from coming in like that. Um, I might just simply put a small gurney, um, like mid, mid wing panel on the right side underneath the trailing edge, I guess on the bottom. Uh, maybe an inch wide, um, 30 second of an inch or thick, something like that. I just want to get that wing tip up a bit. I could also put a bead of clay on the other side just to balance the model a little bit toward that side. Um, again, I'm not sure I want to mess with thrust yet since I'm, oh, only at like 30. 40% power at this point. So I'm just gonna sneak in these different approaches. I think I'm not gonna go up quite as far in winds this time. That was 680, I might just go up to like 750. See how, see how she reacts to that. But I've got this great thick grass, so any mistakes pretty much are protected by the cushion that I've got. Really happy with the conditions of the field right here, it's wonderful. Well, I didn't put a gurney flap on it this time. I noticed that my uh, left stab panel, uh, fin, was um, down a little bit compared to the other side, just a bit. So I tried to tweak it up so that it matches the other side and I left everything else alone. I also took a little bit of nose weight off, um, just a little bit. And I, one thing I forgot to mention was that this prop is, used to be a 12 inch prop, but now it's uh, 10 and 3 quarters. So I figured that might help it uh, control things better. Here we go, 760. All right, felt a little nose up. It's probably because of the rudders or the elevators. Uh, maybe I'll put that nose weight back on it, but um, let's see. I might have to adjust that thrust just a bit to uh, get it to climb a little bit more. We'll see. We're getting close to 50%, so power, 50% power, so uh, at this point I would hope that it would be climbing out a little bit better, so um, okay, so that was 760, I'll probably go up to 840. 
Okay, I'm trying something here. I uh, added nose weight, but I lifted the stab with a shim underneath the entire stab. Just a piece of cardstock, so it's like a 1 64th of an inch. Trying to add some incidence there, increase the decollage, but then counter with a little bit of nose weight. So, um, I'm curious to see what that does to it. I went up to 860 turns here. Okay, here we go. Ah. Okay. I'm not scared too much by that. Um, what I'm going to simply do is put a gurney flap on the lower wing on the inboard, lower wing at the trailing edge, and I think that's going to lift that wing up a little bit, but then at the same time allow it to continue going skyward. That's the most important thing to me at this point. I'm not scared by a, a barrel in like that because we can lift that wing panel up a bit and then it should be in a happy place. That's the plan at least, so give it a shot. I'm going to use the same power probably, or maybe bump it up to 900 just to counter the use of the rubber. Okay, here's where I added the gurney flap. Two inches by one thirty-second inch on the trailing edge, and I added just a little bit more nose weight. Okay, 920 turns. Well, that was a pretty wicked uh, launch. I think it was a bad launch on my part, but I need to throw it just a tad more skyward. Um, but the gurney seemed to work, but it didn't work on the launch, so got to be a little careful. I'm going to bump it up a little bit in power and just see under the same parameters what it does. And if it does the same thing, then I've got to readdress that, but I'll figure it out in a sec. This time I added another gurney on the top wing and extended the lower wing a little bit. Low wing gurney. Um, just trying to get that inboard wing up without having to change thrust or anything else. Here we go. 940 turns. Turning, baby. Glide looks pretty good. All right. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, things I can do to help it turn a little bit more right if it if the gurneys have too much impact on it is simply to put a little bead of clay on that right inboard wing it doesn't take much just a pea size and that could really help 
um, just tweak it in there. So that was 940, max is around 1500. So I'm just gonna go up another 100, I think, and get a sense of where she is. See if we get any more surprises as the torque goes up. Put a little bead of clay on the wind tip here, and I've set the DT just in case. Uh, I don't want to have any flyaways today. Let's see. Okay, I've set the DT. The number of turns is um, 1,020. Here we go. Okay, not liking that bead of clay. Wow. It's going in the right direction, it's just... Okay, I'm at that point where it's going so much to the right that it's creating an issue with climbing. So this plane has always been sensitive to that. Every size that I've built of it. So I mean thrust yes I could alter that just very slightly and open it up. could also just tweak the tail just a slight bit to the left and that could actually open things up. It's done it before so I might try that this next time. All right let's give that a shot. Either that or take the clay off but I don't know it was such a small piece of clay still. These planes get really sensitive at this point. All right, I put in another 80 turns up to 1180, I think. And um, I just want to see if I can duplicate that previous flight. So I'm going to wait for the wind to die down just a little bit and then give this guy a ride.
Come on, baby, make it back here. Make it back. Nope. Be gentle. All right, 1,280 turns. I've backed off the left rudder and hopefully get this guy to go to the right uh, more consistently. Now he's searching for something. Okay, thrust is more right and less down thrust. Everything else is the same, 680 turns. Oh, wow. That looked perfect. Wow. Okay. It's been a long day, but uh, we still have some sun here, so I think I'm going to go up the ladder a bit. Whew. Okay, 890. And I added a little, just a tiny bit of up elevator and a touch of nose weight. And let's see what happens here. stable that's for sure not sure why it swung around but uh, I'm just going to keep going up the ladder okay 1050 turns and I straighten the rudder just a bit so that it has a little bit more right turn here we go Stable though, it's going left. Maybe it'll 
will come back. Sure looks pretty. Come on, keep coming left. No, it's going back to going right. Oh boy. Okay, I hope it's not in that ditch. <laughs> it's getting damp too, so things are changing. But it looks stable. That's the one thing that's good. It's using the rubber. So if there's a bonus in all of this, it's that. Last flight of the night, 1280. I removed one of the gurney flaps from the top wing uh, to try to get it to turn right. So hopefully this will help. Here we go. That's what I wanted to do. Just needs to climb a little bit, that's all. And I guess I can nudge it that way too, but I don't think there's time for any more tonight. 